your assessment, Jeff? Uh, we're going to be going over the volley shot today and the underground serve. It's the last two shots we need to go over before we can start using all the shots in a game situation since we already went over the forehand and the backhand. And uh, for the peer assessment skills checklist, we're all going to start with the volley shot. So. We'll start with uh, the volley shot, so if you guys read the first one, it's just the volley shot at the blue line, tossing the ball in the air ten times. So I have the tape and the blue line set up like we had the other day, and all else I want you guys to do is, when you're tossing the ball to yourself, we're gonna, we'll do the forehand and the backhand. So first we'll start with the forehand, just a simple toss and a volley. When you're doing your volley, it's very similar to the forehand and the backhand. You want to point your shoulder at your target. The only difference is you don't want to bring your racket back to 12 o'clock. It's more just simply from 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock. It's like a punching motion or like you're giving someone a high five. So you start here and then finish. And you also want to keep a stiff wrist when you're doing it. If you flip your wrists on the volley, you're not going to have as good a control. That's why it's just a simple punch from 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock. Do you guys have any questions with that? And the backhand is the same thing. Same grip as the forearm too, just the handshake grip. So you're just going to point your shoulder to the target. Just a simple punching motion. Whatever you guys need to get the ball over the net. 
we're going to focus again on rallying. We're not going to keep score or anything. So we want to focus on kind of lofting the ball in the air, making a good, accurate shot to the other team, just so that we can try and get as many hits as we can. And to start it this time, instead of using a forehand or a backhand, we're actually going to use the underhand serve. And the one, one of the rules for serving is that if your team has an even score, you'll always serve from the right side of the court. So even right side of the court, and if your team has an odd number score, we'll serve from the left side of the court. So every time the ball hits the net, I'm going to yell out a score. And the team that grabs the ball, if I yell out two, for instance, serve from the right side, or if I yelled out seven, you would serve from the left side. Like I said, we're going to be starting our tournament play next time. So if I can have 